In this Figma tutorial, let's take a look at paragraph spacing. Paragraph spacing is kind of like line height for paragraphs. So line height would be the space between each line of your text. If you select a block of text, you can actually see line height over here. Now you can make adjustments there. However, you can also make larger adjustments between paragraphs. So one of your options you might think you have is if I have a paragraph divider here, like this paragraph section, where can I get some? I might just have to press the return key two times and then do the same thing down here. But that's not the case. In fact, whenever we have paragraph breaks, which there's a couple in this block of text, what we can do is come over to this adjustment in the text panel called paragraph spacing. We can actually click and drag to increase the spacing between paragraphs to a custom amount. So this spacing is just wherever we have a paragraph break. So for instance, if at the end of this block of text, I pressed the return key or the enter key on my keyboard, that creates a paragraph break. And so that's where paragraph spacing will come in. What we're adjusting here in the paragraph spacing section is actually adjusting the spacing for every return key that we've hit. Now I could make another section here if I find, so if I want after this book to be another paragraph, if I just press the return key one, it's going to or once, it's going to apply that paragraph spacing to that. So same thing if I press it twice, it's going to kind of double that up. So if you, or by default, I should say, the paragraph spacing would be set to zero. And so you would have to press the return key a couple of times. But if you just want to press it once, you can increase the paragraph spacing. And then all of a sudden, you'll get some more space between all of your paragraphs after each of your returns here in Figma.